Hey everyone, welcome back to Alleyways, or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and if you haven't already, please, please, please make sure to join the Alleyways family. Subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and turn on post notifications, not only so you know when I have new content, but also so I can include you in my subscriber shout out. This is my special way of thanking and acknowledging each and every one of you. This is such an incredible community full of wonderful people. I am going to be shouting out one very special subscriber at the end of today's video, so make sure you stay tuned until the end in case that's you. For today's video, I am so excited to bring you all my biggest haul on the channel yet. I got so many incredible pieces from the Pink Lily Boutique. There are so many things in here that I absolutely love that I know you all will too. There are dresses, jeans, swimsuits, workout apparel, comfy lounge sets, pants. There really is something for everybody. I'm going to have links to all of the items in the description box down below. And also, I will have my sizes as a reference. So for most all of these pieces, I ordered them in a size medium. I will put my measurements, my height, and everything like that down below so you can use that as a reference when you're shopping. But let's not wait anymore. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, we are getting things started with a bang with this super bright, super fun activewear outfit. When I saw these pieces on Pink Lily, the color is the first thing that caught my eye. I absolutely loved this really kind of almost neon baby pink. I thought that it was so beautiful and has fun, especially it has been so gray and dreary here. I'm ready for some bright, bold, fun colors and this fits the bill. Another thing that I really liked, I'm going to come up close so you can see there's actually a subtle difference between the band and then the pant. The band is just like slightly softer and it gave it this really cool kind of like color block look to the outfit. I also noticed that this fabric, I'll come up close so you guys can see the color and then this texture. So you can see it's kind of this geometric textured pattern on the sports bra and the leggings and I have been seeing this absolutely everywhere in active wear. My little sister Meredith just got a pair of leggings with this pattern and I thought it was so cool and different. I've never really seen a ton of textured active wear and now it is everywhere. So I wanted to hop on the trend and I was wondering what it would feel like, the fabric would feel like because it is textured and thin. It feels amazing. It's really soft. It's really comfortable. I can see this being really breathable for when I work out and of course you all know how much I love anything high-waisted. I love that these are truly high-rise and make me feel so secure for when I'm in the gym or running errands or anything like that. One thing that's really cool about these is it has a tight band around the ankle here so they're not going to ride up on you and I think that's really really nice. I love the sports bra. It has removable cups which is really nice. I prefer for my sports bra to have bra cups. That's personal preference and then I'm going to show you all the back because it is just too cute. So you can see it has this little open area here and then I'll come up close so you can see there is a little adjustable area here where you can tighten or loosen it. Again, both of these pieces I got in a size medium and they were a perfect fit for my measurements and body type, but I do love that it has that adjustable factor. Um, that just makes it feel a little bit more custom to me, but I, I love this. I think it's so much fun. It kind of reminds me of a popsicle or something. I love it. And you know, I've been doing a lot of fitness content. I thought this would be fun for a fitness video. And the other thing is I really like to get sets because I'm really big on mixing and matching. So each of these pieces I could wear with different tops or bottoms and have completely new outfits. Like for example, I've got a set next that has a gray sweatshirt. So I'm just going to throw it on so you can see this would be great for the gym, but right now in Nashville it's cold. Or maybe if I wanna go run errands after the gym, I could just throw on this sweatshirt from another set and have a different, really cute kind of look. I could put on gray tennis shoes with this. I think that would be adorable, but this pink would go with so many colors. It would go with orange, it would go with black, gray, white, 
really the sky is the limit but I am a big big fan of having sets because I really think you get more for your money and then you can really maximize your wardrobe with mixing and matching so just something to keep in mind while you shop now let's move on to our next pieces next up we have another kind of two-piece outfit right now we are all at home we are all wearing comfortable clothes and sweats, and I don't know about you all, but I'm so ready to have an elevated sweatsuit game. And I saw these sets on their website, and I thought that they really helped to do that, to elevate your sweats from something that was kind of like sloppy, that you wouldn't wear out really, to something that was cute. And so I really, really love these shorts. They've got the elastic drawstring waist, so you can tighten them for a perfect fit. I love the length of them, they're not too short. I have them pulled up to my waist and they're hitting well below my bum, which I love. They also have pockets. You guys know how much I love pockets. And they're really comfortable. The fabric of both of these is like a really nice, thick kind of sweatshirty material, but it's that cold kind of sweatshirty material. It's not fleecy, it's kind of slick. Um, which I love. And then I loved that this sweatshirt had the lantern sleeve detail. So if you come up close, one, you can see that the color is really beautiful and kind of heathered. And then you can see this detail around the sleeve that just gives it a little extra something that makes it look nicer. So <clears throat> I'm gonna do this. If I were to go like this on a Zoom call, this would look like a nice sweater. I would totally feel comfortable and professional wearing this in a meeting, but really it just feels like a sweatsuit, which I love. I also am somebody who loves getting things that are dressy and fun, but at this point in my life, in what's going on in the world, the truth is these are the things I am wearing on a day-to-day -day basis. And when I'm shopping, that's really a concern for me because I want my money to really go towards something that I'm going to wear time and time again. So I feel like I'm making a really good investment and this is something that I will wear time and time again. I absolutely love it. I think it's so comfortable and cute. And again, it's something that I can mix and match. I would totally wear this sweatshirt with a pair of jeans or a skirt. I would wear these shorts with other sweatshirts or even t-shirts and blouses. It really does help to stretch your budget and your wardrobe further, which is just so great. All right, so I got this exact same set, but in this sherbety orange color. I loved the color on the website. I thought it was really eye-catching and beautiful, and I thought it was a fun way to work more color into my wardrobe. Again, all of the same benefits. So these two different pieces are really great for mixing and matching. It's really comfortable. The top really looks like a nice sweater. The shorts are at great length, great pockets. And then I was going to tell you all the end of the drawstrings have these actual metal aglets which I think is just really really nice it's such a nice touch it makes it feel I don't know to me just a little more luxurious that's one thing that I'll say about all of Pink Lily's clothes you can really feel the quality the items are all such high quality I did try everything on before and everything just felt really great. Nothing is ever see-through, nothing is ever thin, none of the fabrics are ever uncomfortable, and that's one of the really big reasons why I love Pink Lily so much. But again, I know this is something that I'm going to wear a lot because it is really comfortable and so cute. I have on a pair of white tennis shoes with it, and I think this is a really great outfit. All right, this is the last of the coordinating sets that I picked out. I saw this on Pink Lily's website and actually on their CEO's Instagram, and I thought it was so beautiful. So it's actually a knit sweater set. I'm gonna come up close so you all can see the texture and the pattern and really the color. The color reminds me- Of Lizzie? <laughs> uh, yeah, of my dog a little bit, but also yeah. of the color that I like for my coffee to be. So I am a coffee baby. I am not somebody who, it kind of actually does look like his. Look at her belly. <laughs> <laughs> Did you inspire the color palette? Um, I am not somebody who can just drink black coffee. I wish I could because I know it's healthier. But yeah, this is about the color I like my coffee or tea, which I know may cause some outrage amongst some of you. But I really think right now, neutral tones, 
and monochromatic looks are still here to stay. Again, with these, I will wear both of these separate with other pieces. I think that this hoodie would look so cute with a pair of jeans or joggers, anything like that. And these pants, I'm going to show you all how high-waisted they are. And I actually put on heels because how long these pants are. I am going to hem them because I probably won't wear heels with this look. But just kind of bear that in mind when you're getting this is the pants. I have them pulled all the way up on my waist and they with heels are just dusting the ground. Now I am 5'5", five five, so I'm shorter, so it might not be a problem for you. But yeah, just so you know. Now my favorite thing about this is how comfortable it is. This is so warm and so soft. I like that the sleeves are actually longer too. Maybe the long pants are intentional, but yeah, it's so, so cozy and keeps me really warm. Like I said, it's freezing right now and I'm really, really trying to be intentional about getting these really nice elevated cozy at home looks because I just have felt sloppy during COVID. I love this. I'm going to come up close so you guys can see the waist is drawstring and actually has sweatery ties. The same with the hoodie. I'll put the hood up so you all can see it as well. I just thought this was really unique and different and now that I have it on I can tell you it is just oh so cozy and so for that reason I know I will wear it a lot. I'm really interested to see all the ways I can style this because I think that it's going to be really beautiful and like I said I saw it on Instagram and it photographs really well. So you can keep your eyes peeled for this on my Instagram. Another thing I'm going to show you all is the way that the this is knit is actually really flattering. Even when it's hanging, the knit actually kind of comes into a point on the waistband and in the back in a way that kind of makes everything look up and in. And I like that as well. All right, I think we are done with all of our sets now, so let's move into some individual pieces. All right, next up, I saw these jeans on Pink Lily's website, and I have experience with Pink Lily's jeans. They are really comfortable. So all of their denim that I have is a really soft, stretchy fabric, which I love. One of the main reasons why in the past I've worn a lot of denim is because it's so uncomfortable. And... Whenever I got the first pair from there, I was shocked at how soft and cozy they were. And so I was really eager to get another pair. I loved the wash of these. I've had so many black jeans or super light jeans lately that I needed more of a medium wash. And I thought this color was perfect. They are high-waisted. I paired it with this sweatery sweatshirt from the last set. So you could see some of the mixing and matching all of the pieces actually from my order would coordinate really well together. These jeans would look great with the orange sweatshirt, with the gray sweatshirt, um, oh, with some of our pieces that are coming up. And I think that that's really nice whenever you get things, a bunch of things in an order that you can pair together. Um, what do you think, Mary? All their tones are like meant to go together. Yeah, they're, they order a lot of the same color family on Pink Lily, so it's really easy to cross shop on their website. But I'm going to come up close so you all can see they are high-waisted. They come up right above my belly button. They have real pockets, and here are the pockets and the wash in the back. But my favorite part about these jeans is actually that they have an angled raw hem on the bottom. Now, I'll try and like lift up my leg so you can see. There is the raw hem up close. So it's almost like kind of fringy and I just thought that was really, really cute and different. And I like for my jeans to come up a little higher. Like I said, I'm short and a lot of times I have jeans that are just too long and I end up having to roll them up and it never looks that great. So I was excited to get these because they hit in a place where I'm not going to have to roll them and they're going to look cute with all different kinds of shoes. So they're comfortable, they're a great wash, they're tr fitting true to size. And they have a fun kind of unique feature that makes them different from other jeans in my closet. Next up, we have this piece from Pink Lily's new collection. Their new collection is gorgeous. And I first of all love this color. I hope it's coming across on camera. It's a really soft kind of Cinderella blue, if that makes sense. But I thought that this is a really classic piece. It's a sleeveless sweater and 
For me, I love having outfits with different textures. So I really like that we have some denim and a sweater. We could layer on another texture over this. But this is just, like I said, a really, really classic piece. I'm gonna pull it down so you can see where it would come to. I would totally tuck this in, just kind of like that in the front. One thing that I will say about this piece, it is a light sweater, so it's thin. So it's not gonna give a ton of warmth, which is great because it's sleeveless. You're gonna be layering this in the spring. Another thing is this runs a bit small. So if you want a looser fit, maybe size up one or even two sizes. I ordered a small in this, but I kind of wish I would have ordered a large just because I like my sweaters um, just to fit a bit differently. But I think that this, like I said, is really beautiful and classic and is going to be something that's really timeless and last for a while that I can style in so many different ways. Next up, I chose this kind of fun billowy blouse. They have this in multiple colors on the website. That's another thing I should mention about all of these. All of these come with a ton of color options, which is great. I really love this kind of sagey mint color and I really love having, sorry, that's Izzy shaking. I really love having a great blouse for spring and summer. Nashville weather is really unpredictable for so many months and a lot of times you need an extra layer in the morning when it's chilly that you can shed in the afternoon or that's really light to get you through midday. And I think this is perfect for, it. for that. This is a really interesting fabric. So it's viscose or polyviscose in linen. I've never felt anything quite like it. It's really soft and flowy. It feels great on um, all comps you can see. I hope I can capture. It has a really nice texture too, up close, kind of like linen. Uh, it does have a front pocket, which I love. And then it has these sleeves that you can let down. So this is not a dummy button. I'll go ahead and show you all. These roll all the way down and have a button there if you want. And then all of these buttons I'm struggling a little bit. I buttoned all these buttons for now just so you can see, but I think it would be great to style it tucked in like this. Kind of just like a messy tuck I think looks really nice. I'm still struggling with this button. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> or else tying this up. So for me to untie it, I would probably just do the last two or three buttons. We'll just do the last two for now and tie the bottom and you get this really kind of cute oversized billowy 90s vibe. I love it with these jeans. I think it looks really cute. This blouse would also look really great open with a T under it or my little sister Meredith who's here with me actually mentioned this would be really nice open over a swimsuit as a cover up. I love that. I think because it has that linen feel it would be great in summer. Um, but again, this is a piece that has a lot of versatility. You can see how many different ways we've styled it just here with its features, not even layering things. And I obviously love this kind of minty color. You can see it's all over the rack and it's really popular right now. Like I said, earth tones, kind of like natural tones are huge right now. And I think this is one that's a fun that has just a bit more color. All right, next up. <laughs> I'm doing a little bit of a Canadian tuxedo. I just put on a white cami so you all could see this denim jacket. Now, I have had the same denim jacket in my closet for years. It's a little bit of a darker wash from Denim and Supply that I actually bought from the men's section. It was time for me to have a new one. I actually have another one too from the children's place. Um, that's how long I've had that one. I needed a new denim jacket with a great wash with a trendy fit. So we know right now 90s style is huge and one of the signature things about 90s style is having kind of billowy oversized clothes and I really loved this denim jacket because it has that kind of loose comfortable feel without just being enormous like Jinko level um, and I really loved the wash. The wash is a really classic kind of distressed denim and then I love that it has this raw hem on the bottom. That was something that was really different but more than anything 
I couldn't have anticipated how comfortable this was. Both of my denim jackets are so stiff and rigid. This one is so soft. The denim feels really worn in, which is nice because it's so comfortable to wear. I have plenty of room in the arms and the shoulders to be able to layer this comfortably with other pieces, which I love. It has buttons on the sleeve that if you wanted to, you could undo and kind of cuff the sleeve, which I think always looks really nice. I'll do the other one um, for all of our friends who like for things to be symmetrical like me. Um, I'll show you in the back, it's cut a little bit lower than the front, which I like. It just gives you a little bit more coverage. Uh, all in all, this is the perfect denim jacket for me. It's classic, it feels durable, but it's comfortable. It feels warm, it's a great wash, a great fit. I absolutely love it and I'm going to style it again and again. And I guess now is as good a uh, time as any to say that I am planning a trip to Disney. And I know Orlando weather is like Nashville where it's really unpredictable, especially this time of year. And I'm going to need pieces like this to layer. So stay tuned to the channel and my Instagram to see all of the looks. I definitely will be bringing this along as well as some of the looks that we are about to get into. Okay, so before we move on to this next piece, I do want to mention that Pink Lily offers Afterpay. I think this is a, such a wonderful benefit when stores offer it. It really helps, especially in times like these when you're wanting to shop, but also trying to be financially responsible and budget friendly. And so I just wanted to mention that that is an added perk of shopping there. All right. Now let's talk about these trousers. These are from Pink Lily's new collection. I absolutely love these. The fabric is so comfortable. It's very light and breathable. Obviously, they are tropical print, which you are going to want to wear in the summer. So you want the fabric to be breathable for the season. And these are perfect for that. They are lined to about the mid thigh, which is great because you don't have to worry about any kind of exposure or sheerness from that area up, but you don't have to worry about any kind of added heat or weight from mid thigh down. It's a perfect compromise for lining. I'm going to come up close so y'all can see the color and the pattern. Again, it's in the really popular earth tones. I love that it is kind of this palm frond pattern that is really beautiful and tropical but not overwhelming or too loud. It's subtle enough to where it can still be very classic and beautiful. It does have belt loops that comes with this really nice sash which Meredith pointed out that you could take this out, put in like a standard white belt for example, and then use this as a sash in your hair. I love that idea. I'm going to do that now. I paired it with just this white cami. I thought that these would be perfect to wear in either Animal Kingdom or Adventureland. So you all have to tell me where you think I should wear these in Disney. And my mom's idea was to really elevate the look by tying on a sheer white blouse over the cami. So first let me get my hair tie in, my hair scarf. I really love, I'm just gonna, Turn it around, fix any kind of strays. And I love the idea of putting the blouse on with it because it actually gives me both like 90s Jurassic Park vibes, but also like 1920s, 30s archeological dig vibes. You know the aesthetic that I'm talking about. You have to know. So I'm gonna just tie this up and then have the sleeves be three quarter length. And I think that this is such a cute kind of breezy, classic summer look. But you all tell me where you think I should wear this. Let me know. And I think this is also good for Disney because it is so light. It would help decrease my sun exposure. But also, I'm somebody who, when I'm traveling, I like to have biker shorts so you don't get any kind of like rubbing or friction because let's be honest, you're walking and... You don't want to be uncomfortable in that way. I would pair this with really great comfy white tennis shoes and I think it would be such a cute look with layers that would keep me warm in the morning that I could shed to stay cool in the afternoon. And here is the belt as a hair tie. Oh my gosh, I love this look. All right, let's move on to our next piece. Next up, we have another piece from Pink Lily's new collection and that is this striped jumpsuit. I'm gonna come up close so you can see the pattern. It is a really fun geometric that almost feels, 
I don't know. To me, it, it has an Animal Kingdom kind of vibe to me. Something about it feels like that. I love that it's black and white. I think it's really just fun and different. The top is strapless, but it has this really fitted kind of elastic band, so I'm not worried about it slipping and sliding. It also has an elastic band here around the waist with a drawstring tie that really helps kind of cinch it and add some shape to it. It does have two pockets that are really well hidden, which I really love, and then it has elastic around the ankle as well. Now this is lined. It has really a nice thin breathable fabric which is great but then you don't have to worry about it being sheer because just like our last pants it is lined to the mid thigh and then the top is double lined as well so there's no sheerness. It is really really soft and comfortable. It's a nice kind of linen fabric and this will be fun to layer with our denim jacket or a black sweater or a pop of color in a sweater. I think it's really just something totally different from anything that I've ever had and I love it for that reason. I think it, you could really dress it up with heels for an event and maybe like a pop of color with your heels and earrings or throw on tennis shoes and a little sweater and run around in it. It is really comfortable and I know I have Disney lovers on the channel and whenever I have something that fits like this in the bust. Mir, do you know who I'm going to say it reminds me of? What princess? When Ariel gets dressed. Oh, yeah, in her, uh... On the, on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and she, like, gets tied up with rope. I, this has that kind of fit and feel to me, and so I love it. Okay, let's move on to our next piece. Next up, we have this fun kind of flouncy skirt. I'm going to come up close so y'all can see. We're having a discussion here about what kind of animal print this is. We think maybe giraffe or cheetah or Dalmatian. Let us know in the comments down below what kind of animal print you think this is. I saw this and again was thinking of Animal Kingdom. I thought it was so fun and summery and adorable. I love the kind of organic flouncy hem that it has. You can see it's really like kind of, um, wavy on the bottom so it gives it a lot of volume and yeah it makes me just makes me want to do that it has a really nice elastic drawstring waist on pinkley's website they paired this with a black sweater so i just grabbed a black turtleneck from my closet and paired it together i thought this was really really cute this is just a fun piece that again because it's in a basic kind of color palette you could style so many different ways you could style it with a dark color or you could style it with a pop of color i think that it is really cute and summery and just different. Again, I'm really trying to make an effort to be more bold in my colors and prints because I've just worn all black for so long. So I was really excited to get this and incorporate it into my wardrobe. I love that it's the same length all the way around. And yeah, should I wear this in the animal kingdom? Let me know. <laughs> all right, next up, I chose this ribbed sweater skirt from Pink Lily. They have this in multiple colors. I wear pencil skirts a lot for work and the ones that I had before were this length that was popular probably 10 years ago. So right above the knee, it came up super high waisted. I saw this and midi skirts are so big right now. I love that they're a little bit longer length and I just needed a new one that was more in style, fit me better and was a material that I liked. This sweater fabric, I'll come up close so you can see that it is ribbed. It has a nice kind of stretchy band here in the waist, and then it has this fun kind of slit detail. Um, the tag is right opposite the slit, so you're, I think, supposed to wear it in the middle, but I think it also looks nice off to the side as well. This is just a staple piece that we all need in our wardrobe that I wanted to get into mine in a style, like I said, that was more updated in a fabric that was really comfortable. This is beautiful. This is something I will wear to work time and time again. Um, and it feels really high quality, so I know it'll stand the test of time. All right, now we are going to move into our dresses, which I am so excited about, especially with a Disney trip being imminent. 
I saw this on Pink Lily's website and it immediately reminded me of Cinderella. It is this really soft, dusty blue that Pink Lily has all over their website. On camera, it's a little bit more baby blue than in person. In person, it's, it is a bit dustier. I'll come up all so close so you all can see the really fun Swiss dot. I love that. The sleeves are nice and sheer. This just has such princess vibes to me. I love the smocking over the chest that comes to right at my waist. I think that that's really sweet. I love the puff sleeve detail and the little detail around the wrist as well. And then I love the skirt. The skirt has a little kind of pleating and extra move to it. So it'll look really cute for photographs for <laughs> having a little motion. I thought about actually getting a crinoline to put under this so it's a bit more puffy because I have fallen in love with this dress called the selkie dress that all these girls are wearing in Disney. I'll put a picture of it here so you all can see. But it is insanely expensive and I just cannot buy one. But I thought this was a really kind of good selkie dress vibe. Um, in the back, there is a tie that holds it together really well. I'll put it down so you all can see. A tie that holds it together really well. I am going to undo it because I would like to style this dress both like this with the sleeves up, but then also take it down off the shoulder. So here we have sleeve up and then here we have off the shoulder. Just one small little thing that gives just a tiny bit of difference. I might also end up tying a ribbon around the waist. I love this. I love this dress. I will definitely wear it not only in Disney, but when I get back time and time again. It's comfortable, it's light, and it's so beautiful. Let's put on our next dress. Next up, we have this white linen dress. And if this does not have Ariel after she becomes a human again vibes, then I don't know. I don't know what does. I'm going to come up close so y'all can see it has a tie detail right here in the center. The eye tie just a little bit loose to give it a little shape. You could tie it completely tight if that makes you feel more comfortable. It has these really sweet sleeves that has almost kind of an eyelet design right there and then it goes into a bit of a fluffier, flowier kind of shape. I love this. I absolutely love this. It has a cinched waist that gives it that signature Ariel on the rocks look and then a fun flowy skirt with just a little hem here just another little added detail I love this kind of soft crinkled linen it feels so summery and so sweet and so feminine I love the slave length you could pull this up it's meant to be worn off the shoulders but if you felt more comfortable like this you could do it I really like it off the shoulders it is lined, so you don't have to worry about it being see-through. The liner is really, really great. The skirt is separate, but the top, everything is just so seamless and soft. It would be really comfortable on a warm day to help keep you cool. It's not too short in the back. I just, oh, I love this. If you think I should include this in my Disney lookbook, then let me know. All right, for our third dress, we have this orangey, peachy, floral print dress. I'll come up close so y'all can see the pattern and the color. I absolutely love this. I think it's a really nice kind of sherberty pastel color which makes it soft and feminine and I love the style. So you can see the chest to the waist is smocked again which is so comfortable. I love that feeling. I don't know if I'm the only one but I just love how smocking feels there. And then it has these fun three-quarter length lantern sleeve with a little puff in the shoulder and then a tiered ruffled skirt. So I'll come up close again so you all can see this detail. You can see there's actually one, two little layers and then a really kind of ruffled hem. I absolutely love this. It was styled on their website with a white belt right around the waist, which I thought looked wonderful. You can see it's not too short in the back and the cut in the back is the same as the chest area, kind of this square cut, which is unique and different. 
I will probably end up putting a white belt on with this and it will definitely come to Disney with me. Let me know where you all think I should wear this. Meredith and I were saying it has fantasy land, small world vibes. So let me know. I will style this so many different ways. I'll style it with chunky white tennis shoes, with heels, with sandals, with wedges. I will definitely wear this time and time again. It's a really nice kind of silky soft fabric. I love the elastic around the sleeves. It's just comfortable. It's so comfortable. And yeah, I love it. I love it. Let me know which item as always is your favorite. And maybe because we have so many things we should vote by category. So favorite dress, favorite pants, skirts, and set. Let me know. <laughs> Let's move on. All right, next up, we have a, another dress again. This also gives me princess vibes. I'll come up close so y'all can see. It's a really soft kind of aqua-ish color that also has a little bit of a Cinderella vibe to me. It has the square cut neck and it actually comes up higher, which is nice. It has a really structured kind of puffy shoulder. And again, a three quarter length sleeve that if you want it to be more lantern-y, you can pull it up like that. I really like it where it is. It has smocking right under the chest and then it has multiple tiered layers of ruffles as well. This skirt is a lot fuller than the other skirts that we've had, which I really like. Again, motion makes for great photos. That's another tip that I will give you from, you know, years of, of working in print is adding a little motion can always really elevate a photo. And if you can incorporate your wardrobe into the motion, it can become a really dynamic picture. It has a really soft, floral print pattern with some earth tones in it that just make it seem very kind of old-fashioned and classic. This to me looks like something Lily James would have worn in the live-action Cinderella when she was working. Maybe that's just me, but I absolutely love it. I'll turn around so you all can see the back. This one also comes a little lower on the legs, um, which is nice if you're looking for a dress that hits right above the knee. This one is right there. Again, it is lined, has an incredible kind of silky lining. Um, so you don't have to worry about any kind of sheerness, even though the fabric is light and dreamy. I absolutely love this. I will wear the heck out of it. All right, one dress, then we're moving on to swimsuits, then subscriber shout out, we are almost there. I saved our most dramatic dress for last. This is a really gorgeous chiffon maxi dress that they have in so many colors on Pink Lily's website. I saw this one and one, it reminded me of Princess Jasmine and two, it reminded me of Enchanted Garden on board Disney Cruise Line. This would be such a great dress for any, I mean, any event, any event weddings, um, engagement parties, cruising, vacation, anywhere. Again, how we talked about motion. Um, I can totally see this on the cruise, taking a photo out on the deck with the wind catching it, just being really dramatic because it is chiffon. It moves so beautifully and then is light and comfortable to wear. There are two slits in this dress on either side. So here and also here. Now, if you're somebody who doesn't like slits, you don't have to worry because this is not showing a lot of leg. You can see I can twist and turn and you can never see my leg. Or if you wanted to for a photo, you could pop the leg out. The slit is not really high. The great thing about having these two slits is it makes it really easy to walk, as you can see. This is lined. You can see the skirt comes to about mid thigh and then the top is lined as well. So you don't have to worry about it being see-through or too revealing. Um, and I do like that they made the lining go to mid thigh. I think that's a comfortable length for everybody. The sleeves are nice and sheer. And then it has really nice cuffs with three buttons there. And I love that it comes with this really long sash that you can tie. We tied it in a bow here on the side to kind of make it look more like a wrap dress. It does have a little puff on the sleeve. I just thought this was so beautiful and elegant. And as we look towards COVID hopefully ending within the year, we're gonna have so many special occasions to celebrate and it would be great to have something like this in your wardrobe to be prepared for that. I absolutely love this. And I, you can see it's just a lot of fun to move in because the way the chiffon floats, I love it. All right. 
let's try on our swimsuits. Last but certainly not least, we have our swimsuits. These swimsuits are both so nice. The quality of Pink Lily swimsuits never ceases to amaze me. They're double lined. They do have removable bra cups, which I absolutely love. I saw this style and it just looked so classic to me. It was black, but I'm gonna come up close to y'all can see this geometric pattern all around the outside. I just thought that that was really beautiful and felt, I don't know, maybe I'm thinking like 60s. It was really, really classic. It's a, actually looks like crocheted, sewn on there with really thick thread, which I just loved. I thought it was really beautiful and bold. Um, and I really loved the cut. It's a really sporty kind of athletic fit. The bottoms are um, coming up high on the thigh, they're high cut but then they don't sacrifice bum coverage, which is always nice. I feel nice and covered. There's no pieces you have to connect or attach. Everything is just all one piece and feels very fitted and secure, which is great. You're not gonna have any slip ups, um, if you know what I mean. But yes, I love this, love the cut, love the fit, love the style. Let's put our next swimsuit on. Right. Last piece, last but certainly not least, I love this swimsuit. It is again in this dusty blue color that Pink Lily does so well in such a sweet style that again gives me Cinderella vibes. I'm gonna come up close so y'all can see the color. You can see all of the detail, it's darted. It has these really fun, sweet, soft, feminine ruffle sleeves. It is high waisted in the bottom and also high cut on the thighs. I really like that. I like to feel a bit more covered up these days like that and I think it's also a style that's universally flattering and a color that's universally flattering. Again, it's double lined and does have wonderful removable bra cups. And just like our last swimsuit, there's no clamps, there's no ties, there's no attaching. So you don't have to worry about anything coming undone. You can see again, there's lots of nice coverage on the bum. I just thought that this all in all was such a sweet, beautiful swimsuit and it's really comfortable. The quality is so great and it's different from anything I had. I don't have anything with kind of this flutter sleeve on a swimsuit. I absolutely love it. Okay, don't forget, let me know which pieces are your favorite. Let me know about any questions that you have. Gosh, thank you for sticking with me. Let's sign off. <laughs> Oh my goodness, if you made it here, thank you so much. That is it for today's video. As always, if you have any questions about any of these looks, please let me know in the comments down below. It would mean so much to me if you guys would check out Pink Lily and use those links. Thank you all so much for being so wonderful. And now I want to thank and acknowledge one very special subscriber. I want to give a big shout out to our friend Cheryl R. Ekavari. Cheryl, I hope I pronounced your name correctly. You recently were on a live chat and were just so sweet and encouraging. Um, special shout out to my live chat crew that's here. I love you all so much. Cheryl, thank you for your kind words of love and support. It means the world to me. I love you. I love you all. And I can't wait to see you next time right here on Alleyways. Bye.